Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogwell 333 and welcome back to What's Ride 4? Basil McRike, Russian Republic. Live on Twitch. Probably not live on Twitch right now, unless I really manage to uh, keep this upload schedule going, but I'm recording it live on Twitch right now, which if you're not following the Twitch channel, check it out if you want to. If you want to see me do stuff like this live and feature in the YouTube when it goes on. Um, let's promise a return to normalcy. So we intend to balance our, out our ideals. We must return a promise to no promise a return to normalcy to the people and to the politicians. We promise an end to insecurity of the state, of the people, of liberty, of the republic, and of our system. We promise an end to the political brutality, however one perceives it, and an end to system abnormality, and resolutions to all of our issues that make our small society abnormal. Thank you. Thank you, Kev. Appreciate you standing up for me. Now the Kingdom of Belgium hanging on the Congo. The left one's in Korea. Interesting. The pan have won. Okay. Next, let's demonize Leninists. Vladimir Ilovich Lenin. A joke. Not opportunist, manipulating people into following and preaching false liberty. Nothing is really free about the state he created. It has nothing to do with a true republic, let alone our republic. We shall preach the truth to the population, demonize them, force the people to picture them for the demons they are. It is all, of course, a slight exaggeration, though such things have never hurt anyone. Congo Wars, my, my humble game is still going on like 58, so used to seeing... Perhaps get used to seeing that. Fair enough. I think in the Hungry campaign I just fi finished up, it... Got done pretty quick. So we got better carbines. Next we'll do um, country wide improvements and postline war production. Gotta get working on an industrial base after all. Get working on the better carbines. Lord knows we'll probably need them soon. Korean military coup? Oh. Okay, bet. Um. Helsinki Olympics, China denounces Vietnam. Well, we'll see what happens there, won't we? Next, we'll do working on a long stroke gas pistons. Means like China's Vietnam, at least it, the Chinese eventually won't. won't really, yeah, I. The one game I played a thousand week right, China won the Vietnam War. So that's what I'm used to. But we'll see how it plays out in this game, of course. Think, think, think. All I need is a convincing poster that would show all the dangers of communism. The artist thought to himself, what was he to do? He had the capital in front of him, piles of dead engulfed in the flames of communism. The monster was moving towards the line of soldiers, defending their nation from the impending catastrophe on the pier, bearing the name of communism engraved in their bones. The building hid many people, and as the beast rushed in their direction, he prayed that the Reds would not take them alive. It, it seemed ridiculous. Then the artist came up with the idea of a new monster, a long-condemned man who rose from hell to swallow the innocent population. There was nothing left of him, only bones that signified his raw materiality, without skin and muscle, only bones as sharp as a cold blade. The people would know that communism was the devil's work. On the other side were soldiers, supporters of democracy, and between them was a bridge over a river, separating heaven and hell. After all, hell was a place for communists. Life under Lenin and Stalin had been a reign of terror on the common people, and heaven was a democratic relief. If the people did not support democracy, they would be thrust into a hellish reprise of a Stalinist great terror, this time perhaps never to recover. It's perfect. I've never seen them win, they barely take annoying, he gets bogged down for you, but poor Chang gets cooed. Okay, huh. We'll see what happens, I guess, there. Let's shut down bullshit publications. Everyone in the state is free. Everyone is free to say what they want to say as long as it does not hurt their neighbors. And this, this is why we have to shut down the Bolshevik publications. Not only are they disgusting, but also endanger other citizens. They are free to preach for now, but they will not reach more people who are stupidity, terrorism, hatred, and manipulation. 
Excellent. Five minute London movement. So we're getting a natural drift away from the uh, these extremes over here, which is neat. I'd like to see it. How's the Okrug hanging in there? They're going against the commies. Revolution in Baghdad. So Arab Federal Republics. They have a focus tree, which is funny. Greek Civil War. Interesting. Next, we'll go ahead and do... I will prepare to face the Warlords. Can you go in Cadet in Thousand Week Rock? I believe... Um... You can't... If you want me to do Cadet, I might. Uh, but if you can't... If you mean if you can in general, I might. Uh, you can. You can. Let's prepare to get rid of those illegitimate governments to the West. Those Warlords. Nothing good ever comes out from their actions. They are chaotic and spread war. We must rid them of the war... Rid of the world such governments. However, even though they are not our smartest foes, we are not equipped to deal with these leaders. Therefore, we start our preparations in the name of order and liberty in our region. Therefore, we shall build forts as our forces gather strength, preparing for our inevitable takeover of their unrecognized false countries. The Yellow Boys are the cadets. Uh oh. Nobody tell Turtle. He would not enjoy that. Well, there goes... The Kingdom... Versus the Hellenic State. When I played the game, it was, um... One, I could have sworn the boards were different. Two! Um... It got stuck for a while, because they, uh, ended up falling into the islands. But eventually, the Hellenic State won in, like, 57, 58. Revolution in... Bulgaria? Interesting. Off Dems have prevailed. Sweet, next let's do the disease of a skin. Maple French got nay nay. Fascism, National Socialism, they have the same thing, a disease of skin, dangerous yet unforeseen. The disease requires further investigation, careful inspection before we're able to get rid of it. Cut out this tumor causing the skin cancer plaguing our society. Extremists or terrorists, this is how we shall treat them. Ethiopian Uprising, Golden Square Coup. The Casablanca Catastrophe, U.S. Oh, did they, they just outright didn't go to war, looks like. Jeez. So much shit is happening. It is wild. Arab socialism. I cannot read that comment out, but uh, true that. True enough, Kev. Next, let's go ahead and... Um, Stoke the flames of anti-Germanism. Every Russian knows in their hearts that not every German is a Nazi. However, every Nazi has become, has become a German. They have sold out their nation, their people, their religion, even their own family, in service to great beasts of national socialism. That we can use. We must begin to properly educate our people. The communists, however bitter of enemies they may be, are ultimately Russians, just like as the rest of us. They're only doing what they perceive to be best for a nation, however misguided they may be. The Germans, on the other hand, are the true enemy. They wish nothing but destruction upon us, and so we must wish nothing but the same upon them. The Huns, the Teutons, the demons. They must die for Russia. Does Vietnam have focus tree? I'm curious. Not really. Not really. Barrius stays in the USSR. So I guess he's, uh... Still in one piece, then? F 
Franco's dead. Interesting. So we have some little fortifications. Not nothing too crazy, but a basic setup. Next, let's do Vladivostok's fascist underbelly. So we finally can conclude our investigation of fascist disease. We've reached a point of actual harm of not only political system, but a society as a whole. Those bastards praising Dolphi and Benito all the time are more, I'm, are more chaotic than the, what they claim to be fighting for. In our beautiful city of Vladivostok, these rats are operating shady organizations that commit numerous crimes, such as racketeering, extortion, illegal gambling, and the whole ordeal. Our next move is please crack down on all these activities and rest of our leaders. Our police force shall march victoriously. As previously marched with our army, with Czechoslovak Legion, and even our own army. They shall deliver justice and rid our mighty republic of the fascist plague. God, Barry, such a piece of shit. It's really, honestly hard to put into war. It's true. Especially wards that would, um. keep this video monetizable. And there goes Greece and Ethiopia. So fascism seems to prevail for now. So does Belgium, evidently. Looks like they have no cores on any of this. Well, let's do Ban Vonsiansky. Though the RFP makes up a primary threat to democracy on the right, we must also take into consideration other emigrants from around the world. Though those in France and former Yugoslavia no, hold no sway over us, we must keep in mind those in Britain, America, and Canada. People such as Anastasia von Zyatsky could potentially be a large threat to our republic and our democracy. For that reason, we shall declare von Zyatsky's compatriots to be persona non grata within our country. Isn't that the uh, one guy who, um, I think he came in in the Magadan campaign and died. Or he was supporting Magadan when I did the series. MacArthur elected, okay. Uh, things might get a little cray-cray, then. A little violence. A little, uh... Eager to go oh, after the fascists. And dab over them. And their bleeding corpse. You want we gone, which I think is the more democratic path, I want to say. Dougie Mac, let's fucking go! True that. As they lost the Battle of the Sword, the RFP have now shifted their strategy, battling with Penn instead. Even now, pro fascist and anti republic propaganda circulating around the true Russia. Posters appear on every street corner, pamphlets and leaflets line the streets, and underground papers have even begun appearing in public. This cannot be allowed to continue, their publication will burn, and we and as we destroy it all, their ideology will die. We must not allow their malice to inflict in fact our people. Things might get a little hot. Woo? Oh, you mean nuclear? I totally knew what he meant. In the name of the people of our republic and the interest of preserving law and order, we must trust a serious security concern. Ever since the one tragedy follows a perfidious RFP, continue to infiltrate every layer of Russian society. They are everywhere, from businesses to brothels. Such political and social influences cannot be held by any group, and certainly not Germanophile fascists. Yes, we must begin a fat fight the fascist menace, we must stamp out the genocidal fascist disease at every opportunity, and it is not simply the RFP that we must fight, but its sister organizations as well. Von Zyatsky and his lackeys shall no longer be permitted to enter our glorious republic. Their motherland is not ours. We desire democracy, freedom, and equality, while they believe in authoritarianism, oppression, and supremacy review. Good riddance. Posture check. Thank you, Foxen. It's a fun fact. In Thousand Week they didn't drop two bombs in Japan. They instead dropped 11. Oh, God. Whew. D Japan really got screwed. Well, that's what you get when you fuck with democracy, I guess. Um. French joined the Commonwealth. 
Interesting. Okay, now we're gonna go to go ahead and reinforce the borderlands. Now we root out the disease of a skin. It's time to move on to other important matters. One of these, of course, is securing, securing the outskirts of our republic. There's always chaos there, but we are prepared to end it. No other government ever was or ever will be successful in rooting out the chaotic element of itself as we are. Well, we will wait and see there, won't we? Damn. Eleven nukes on Japan. That is wild. I'm surprised they even have enough to support these big circles and all the cities, then. Cause dang. Getting extra political power. And then we'll have a Duma's grand reopening. And this time, after so much time being spent preparing and repairing, we are finally able to reopen the Duma, the most sacred political building in our Republic. It's what we in our Republic worship as the heart and soul of our democratic ideals, our ideals of law, order, and liberty. No blissful ignorance under fascist or communist regimes, formed by bastards, opportunists, criminals, or simply greedy politicians. We live in liberty, we abide the law, and we keep peace and order in the streets. France is again ruled by Britain. Yep. Um, it's too early to do any of that. And again, concerned industry seems to be the best bet. New military construction. New Greek leadership. Oop, and the RFP versus the Okrung. I'll get support weapons. Check the infrastructure map mode. Where is supply? Supply map mode. Well, actually, we could use some supply out here. Or some railroads, rather. At least up to the length of that. French superior already complex shattered. Damn. Well, um, now get me demonetized. What a show indeed. Soldiers from our army will leave to reinforce the Burat military crewing and noble fight against the extremist rebels plaguing it. Good luck to our troops. Ooh. I mean, this is political power, but that sucks. Um, but we'll do it. Shift your divs to using free trucks instead of horses for supply. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll check that out in a second. It was a long and expensive process, but the bombed out Duma building has finally been reopened for delegates and public alike. After cheering crowds packed out of Stoke Central Square to hear Rogue's in speech, we hoped that it would once again. It would also be his resignation so that torture liberty could burn once again. They were mistaken. Signing con continued banditry and lawlessness in both the public's outskirts and Vladivostok itself. Anatoly Rogozin has announced that the Duma elections will have to be delayed further until internal matters have been dealt with. The immediate row of jeers and hissing from the crowd interrupted the remainder of Rogozin's speech, forcing him to leave the podium with two bodyguards at his side. It has to be done. Well. So we'll have a choice between trust in Rogozin and the Russian Cincinnatus. Cincinnatus? Is that how you say it? Exile of the Dutch government, again. In the immediate aftermath of President Rogozin again booed off state protesters that we loathe, so loathe have called. We turn to the streets in opposition of government. The calls for our government's resignation have grown more extreme, as some demonstrators care to... Face pictures of Rogozin his cabinet. Don't you people have anything better to do? So, despite our rough efforts, the Russian Republic is in absolute chaos. The people are practically rioting the streets, no longer able to call it, tolerate the Caesarian cognitive dissonance between a su supposed democracy headed 
by a little more than a dictator. We have several choices on how to proceed, but all of them sacrifice something. All contribute to the Inferno. So then, do we add more fuel of fire of instability or insurrection? Democracy is the only option. Well, we have two options. And we'll have to decide what option we're going with next time. To be two people, I bid you adieu.